If the world had to survive an entire day with no energy, I think that there would be quite a lot of chaos in, uh, in many places. I think some of the cities especially would have a very hard time. Uh, some people would uh, enjoy the day quite a lot. Uh, I think they'd enjoy uh, not having their cell phones and computers and it would probably be a very relaxing day. I know I enjoy going backpacking in the mountains and um, using no energy other than my camp stove. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of places where there would be real problems. Our, our hospitals would be in a, in a very difficult situation and a lot of people uh, wouldn't be able to get food or water. Uh, so we're, we're certainly very dependent on uh, energy right now and it would, it would be a crazy day if the whole world didn't have energy. I guess we could all sit in our living rooms and read books, um, assuming the batteries on our iPads and Kindles were still working, and if not, I guess we could uh, read old-fashioned books by candlelight. Somehow we'd survive. Of course, um, anyone involved in uh, anything critical going on that day, if, if you needed an, <laughs> an operation, um, I wouldn't want that being done under, under candlelight. So. You know, could the world survive without energy for a day? I think most people could, most people do, uh, on a global basis. Um, maybe uh, it would be a nice breather for a lot of people who lead uh, hectic lifestyles. Well, we've sort of seen that occasionally, right? There have been some pretty big uh, blackouts in which, uh, you know, the power was down for substantial periods of time. In fact, when I was a professor at Stanford, the power went down here for four days. Uh, uh, due to some sort of due to a storm that blew through and put down a lot of power lines, and so uh, I remember it as being a very very frustrating period of time because I couldn't do my email. <laughs> so, how do we survive with absolutely no energy use? I think the best way is go to sleep. <laughs> Don't consume energy. <laughs>